Yo, what's going on, you guys? It is AJ back again with another video. I wanted to tell you guys the reason why I don't eat edibles. So, it was 2016. I went to Kanye, and mind you, I just started rebelling. I just started doing all the things I was taught not to do growing up. I was smoking weed. I was doing dabs. I mean, I would go round for round on dabs with my homie and this other girl I used to be friends with, but f her. And now, looking back, the reason why I stopped smoking was because I cannot function. And so, I never was an edible person because I just I never was. But in 2016, we took a trip to Kanye, his St. Pablo tour, best concert ever, and I went for free, but that's another video for another time. We were high the whole time. We had this great Airbnb with like rooftop access, and it was great because we would smoke up there. We would do dabs. We, it was just, uh, it was a high time. And so we went to the concert. Concert was freaking amazing, and then we um, were on our way home, and I had edibles. I was scared to travel with the edibles, and I know people have done it before, so I was like, you know what? Let me try um not on the way but as i'm getting ready i have the edibles in my carry-on i'm just like you know what i'm scared let's just eat them and like you know get it because we don't want to waste them so i ate them got in an uber ride to the, the airport go through tsa and i'm just like ooh, it's starting to hit and so i'm going through tsa i get on a plane i'm on the plane and i fall asleep for like some weird reason i'm having like a sleep paralysis uh episode and i'm sitting back and i'm like i feel myself getting into a fight but i'm trying to reach down for the water that's down in between my legs and as i'm trying to like physically fight i just feel my body moving if you've ever experienced sleep paralysis you know you're awake but you're not but like in your body you're trying to move which it feels like your body is paralyzed and so i finally open up my eyes and it's like you know like it wasn't that dramatic but that's how it feels so I finally got my eyes open and I'm still trying to move my body like get the water and I'm having anxiety attack while doing that I can't breathe I'm, I'm feeling like I'm gonna throw up it's just like all these emotions at one time so I finally reach out I get the water and I don't feel good whatsoever I'm just like okay maybe I need to use the bathroom so I tap the people that's on my road because I always sit like my big toe I'm always on a window so I tap the people I'm like hey can I go use the bathroom and I get up to go use the bathroom and as I'm walking Walking, I see one of the captains or whoever the people that be flying the planes, the captain or the, his uh, side chick up there. And the guy was looking at me, I was looking at him. And then next thing you know, I just fell out on the plane. When I tell you I was so embarrassed, and I'm spitting, I'm sorry y'all. I was so embarrassed because I woke up, my head was pounding, cause I'm a big boy. I know, I can barely walk through without twisting side to side. So just, just knowing my big ass free falling in the plane, I know I took some people down with me, I know it, I know it. I'm like knocked out for a good few minutes, and then I finally, um, look at, hold on, wait. And as I fall, my homie Gabe tried to catch me, and I appreciate you Gabe. Much love to you. I finally come, you know, I come back to reality. I'm like, hey, bitch, you on a plane? And so I wake up and they're just like, sir, all these white people are around me. They're just like, sir, 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 are you okay? Are you okay? Are you on any medication? I said, no, I just had too many edibles. <laughs> I was so embarrassed, you guys. So they got me some water. They said, we got to get you up. So they got me up. I went back to my seat. They sent the people that was sitting next to me to a different different seat. And the um one of the doctors that were on board or whoever it was, I don't know, whoever you were, they were on the phone and they're like, you know, do you need emergency services? I was like, no, I just need some water and I need to sit down. <laughs> so I'm there and then they brought me some oxygen. They said, you need to use this for 20 minutes. So I'm like, the rest of the flight, I have oxygen on and just a hot mess they're bringing me water the whole time i had snacks but I, <laughs> I was also like scared that i would get in trouble because i said no i just had too many edibles but um yeah my head was hurting there's like one spot back here because i know i hit it there's one spot that i like it hurt so bad for like a week or so and then it finally went away um i probably should have went to go get checked out because anytime you hit your head it's pretty serious but your boy's still alive <laughs> couldn't take me out airplane <laughs> but yeah you guys that is the reason why your boy does not really mess with edibles because well that and because my job but that one bad time I was just like you know what I've smoked weed before I've never experienced this but also I don't travel high because I don't like that's it I'm I'm traveling I don't know any of these people on the plane like I need to be aware and, and uh, able to act fast but it was so embarrassing and I'm so glad it's behind me yeah y'all be careful with them edibles <laughs> seriously because they they were trying to take me out but all right you guys thank you for watching this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. If you're on Facebook, give uh, go ahead and go to the, you know what I'm trying to say, go like this Facebook page. <sighs> I gotta go. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.